last year we identified 56 cases of young people who've experienced sexual exploitation just in the D.C. area. Andrea Powell is the executive director of Fair Fund, an organization she co-founded eight years ago to stop the trafficking of youth worldwide. It has assisted thousands of teenage girls and boys so far in the United States, Bosnia, Serbia, Russia and Uganda. Asia is one of her group's success stories. Lured into prostitution, she often worked 15-hour days in the sex trade. It was just like gross. It's like I separated myself like, I separated my mind. Like, I was in another place when that happened. It's like it wasn't me. Until she was arrested, and Fair Fund helped her turn her life around. To put it in that show, they have trans helped me, like, to transform to who I am now. Like, I'm not the same person. But for every Asia, there are many more who are not so fortunate. U.S. Congressman Chris Smith is one of the strongest advocates for rights of victims of human trafficking. At least 100,000 American girls, mostly runaways, average age of 13, uh, are on the streets and within about 48 hours, if they're not brought back home or to some shelter uh, through the use of drugs, crack cocaine or some other uh, harmful drug, uh, the pimps are able to turn these girls into, and they're very young girls, uh, into forced prostitutes. And they abuse them, they rape them, uh, they get STDs, including HIV AIDS. Many children are brought to the United States from other countries, mostly Latin America, Southeast Asia, South and Eastern Europe. Roma children are often brought from Bosnia or Serbia to steal or clean houses. Children from East Africa are brought to work as domestic servants or farm labor, while children from India are forced to work in the garment business. Their families often do not have any idea what has become of them. In many countries, including the U.S., even police officers who come to brothels or strip clubs buy sex from the victims instead of helping them. Human trafficking and also child trafficking has become a global business, so no country is exempt from. Helga Conrad is a former representative on human trafficking for the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. The, the perpetrators, they are internationally uh, linked, really. So in Southeastern Europe, for instance, where Fair Fund also has been uh, working, we know that, for instance, Serbs and Albanians and others work closely together. So those uh, having no relation normally uh, in the criminal business, they are well together and um, is driven, of course, by enormous uh, profits. Congressman Smith, who has sponsored a bill to protect trafficking victims, says much more needs to be done. We need more um, law enforcement personnel trained to spot a trafficked woman of any age, but with special emphasis on these very young girls, uh, and, and to bring them not into a situation where they're arrested and treated as, quote, prostitutes and prosecuted. We made it very clear that the sea change of attitude is to treat those women and girls as victims, not as perpetrators of crimes. They're not lawbreakers. They have had their bodies and their souls crushed. The U.S. Justice Department estimates that 300,000 children in the United States are at risk of becoming victims of commercial sexual exploitation. In addition, the State Department says about 14 to 17,000 girls from other countries are smuggled into the U.S. for this purpose every year. The latest State Department Trafficking in Persons report says that some 12.3 million adults and children are in forced labor, bonded labor, and forced prostitution throughout the world. Those who are fighting the problem hope that, with better cooperation and strong commitment on all sides, the situation will improve. Amrali Raisovich, VOA News, Washington.